petty avocados. I don't normally eat avocado, but I bought some yesterday. What happens is I buy them and then don't eat them and then feel annoyed and think, why did I spend money on that and buy that when I'm not going to eat it? Uh, so I'm going to chop up an avo whilst we're talking. Is this going to be satisfying? Oh, that's the content you signed up for right there, isn't it? Me ask. Um, good morning to you. It is a mummy day today, so I thought I would take you around on it. Apologies if you can see here, Peppa Pig in the background. Um, I've got lots of things to say to you today and lots of things to show you and also we're doing lots of things. So um, I just wanted to start off by saying good morning. Thank you so much for all the lovely comments on last week's vlog about just trying to be myself a bit more. In the edit as I was watching it, all I could see was how unflattering some of the angles were and I was just like, ah, just leave it, just leave it. You can't like curate everything to such a standard because then when I watch it back, I won't be watching back real life, I'll be watching back this weird like fear, create, uh, fear curated life. So here we are, unflattering angles and all. Today I'm wearing uh, my mama bear top. I always get asked where things are from. So this is from ASOS. Uh, last year in the maternity section. I was not pregnant last year, but I just really like it and who doesn't want a bit of extra bag around the mum tum? Uh, so I do suggest you check out the maternity sections of things because sometimes they have some good bits in it. This looks really unappetizing. It's going to look lovely when it's all smashed up all over a freaking bagel. Mmm, I've served that up so beautifully. It's so insta. I gave Pearly a little bit and she didn't want- oh, do you want it now? Yeah, are you going to eat your little bit of toast? <gasps> Is that yummy? Oh, I'm just going to lick the butter off. That's nice. I'll show you some of these things, actually. I've got them out here in a pile ready to show you for later, but I might as well show you now. I've bought some new spoons because I wanted wooden spoons for my new saucepans of dreams that I showed you last week. <gasps> There she is. Oh, look at them, the white and rose gold ones. Ugh. So I have some new spoons for them. I've also treated myself to some new beads. I've been really cracking on with this beading. I'm gonna show you my creations later, but every night I do a little bit and it just soothes me. I feel so good afterwards. I've also got in the post yesterday, um, a, a, it's not a Star Wars, a Subway voucher. Fun fact for you, I used to work at Subway when I was at university. I worked at Subway, I was a sandwich artiste making the sandwiches. So whenever I get vouchers, I'm like, yes, I'm particularly excited for this one. Two foot long sub meal deals for 10 pounds. Freaking love a Subway. This is not sponsored by them. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just a leaflet, so I've got that. And then also, my lovely publicist sent me this. This is Absolutely Mama, a lovely, lovely magazine. The magazine for stylish mums, that's me. And oh, oh, who's this? <clears throat> Who is this stylish mum? It's, it's Insta Mama, YouTube vlogger, author, and influencer Louise Pentland on launching her new podcast, Mother's Meeting. What? A two-page spread, thank you kindly. Very excited about that, this magazine is pretty, pretty yummy. There's all sorts in here. It's very tempting, some of the things they have in here. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy with those things. And a magazine article, a subway voucher, some wooden spoons, and some beads. Not the haul you were expecting this morning. So I've already had a bit of a mum fail. It's currently nine minutes, 11 minutes past nine and the hub, which is where we've gone to, which is like the best soft play in the world, more on this in a minute. Wow. I've just seen on the door, it doesn't open till 9.30. I did think when I got here, I was like, wow, we've really, there's nobody else in the car park. We've, re yeah. we've really smashed it, but that's because now we've got to sit in the car for 20 minutes and Pearl is like very ready to get out of the car. So um, that'll be a fun 20 minutes. I freaking love the hub. Mommy. It's, yes. Out. We are going to get out very soon, very soon, but it's not open yet. Look, the doors are shut because they're just making it ready for us. Yes, it's open. It will be open in a minute, they're just making it ready for us. Um, full transparency before I film anything in there. I'm friends with the owner and she gives me like an annual pass so I don't pay to go in. It's just a lovely place. I used to come here before it was hashtag gifted. I've been coming here for 
at least three years. I don't think it opened much longer ago than that. Maybe it opened like four or five years ago. It's so clean. And you think that's just because it's new. But then when I went to the other one at Rushton Lakes, what's it called? Oh, I've forgotten what it's called. There's one that's like a circle cut in four. And they have loads of role play stuff there. Um, that's only been open a year and it was so grubby. And I remember thinking, gosh, I'm surprised it's this dirty after just one year. Um, but the lady that runs this keeps it so clean everything's so fresh every time i go <clears throat> there's new stuff it's very instagram friendly as well she's smart um so yeah we just love it but we've got to sit in the car for 15 minutes more it's 13 minutes past now so we'll perhaps try and sneak in at 25 past if we sit in the car for 10 more minutes then we'll go and have a little play and burn mm -hmm. some wiggles off pearl always has a much better nap if she's gone out in the morning and done something so um, that's what we're doing. Come on then. Come on. In you go. Good girl. Good girl. A bit windy. We are the first ones in. Look, we've got the whole place to ourselves. Right, should we put our things down? Look at it. Oh my god. Toddler village is completely empty. Right, let's take our shoes off and go and play. Just. I just have to show you Pearl's t-shirt, so sorry, I'm busy vlogging. Wanna cuddle? Oh, you've been squishing Look at all those teddy bears! Look over here! Oh, you want to go in the kitchen? Let's see, it's all set up, ready to play. You can put on a little chef's jacket. Are you going to cook me some dinner? No. Should we do some cooking? No. No, that's how mummy feels most days as well. What's in here? Should we go to the market? Should we go to the shop? And buy some food? <laughs> Look, it's all so cute. She's settled in a bit now that she's worked out she can open everything. Oh, are you going to put it in the cooker? That's it. Shut that. Oh, what are you cooking? What's that? Is that a delicious little purple ball. Do you need some help? No. No, you've done it. Well done. Good girl. Well done. <laughs> I love this place. Oh! Made a noise. I'm going to show you some of the details while she's Twiddling those. We've got some little plants up here. They're all stuck on so they can't take them down. There's mummy. Hello. And then look at this little cabinet. I mean, I would quite like this in my own house. Got macarons, macaroons, those balloon things that that artist did. So uncultured, aren't I? I love it. And then they've got a fridge that they can open and play with. proving popular at the moment though. Oh that's very nice arranging. You put them on the bottom didn't you? That's nice. Do you think your purple ball's ready out of the oven yet? Oh yes! There's cups on the ceiling aren't there? That's a bit magical. We're in the cars area now. Should we get one down? Do you want to put it on the floor like this? No, but look, I'll show you. You can brum it like this. Brum, brum, like that. That's it, well done. So you can either go down there to the toilets or they have this little quick change station just under the stairs, which is nifty, we're gonna use. So this is the little vets that we're in, and look, some of the little animals move. These have moved. Rah. What does a dinosaur say? <laughs> yes, he does. Look, do you want a teddy? Do you want this doggy? Yeah. yeah? Here he is. Oh, that's a big cuddle. Are you making him feel better? Well, that's very good. It's quite clever because they've all got a little tag actually stitched onto them so that these don't get confused with your own toys from home and they don't end up going
going home with anybody. They've got these little bands on. Oh, that's lovely. I'm giving him his medicine, that's nice. And he's having some. They're on their little hospital bed. Is this doggy having some medicine? That's it. Hold him up by his ear. Lovely. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's so nice. He'll feel lots better now, won't he? I'm going to give him a cuddle and a kiss. No. Oh, a little kiss. That's nice. And he has a kiss. That's nice. Something we've discovered in the construction zone, which we haven't discovered before, or I haven't noticed, is they have switches that actually turn on lights. Now Pearl's favourite thing in the world is a light switch. She loves our light switches at home, so this for her is like heaven. All of these switches. Oh, Pearly, look, a big one. They've got a big one here. And this one, she likes this sort as well. We found some more. Pearly, are you so happy? Oh my god. Why are you, oh, why are you so cute? <laughs> Do you like that hat? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh my god, my heart just burst. Despite this being the best soft play ever, she always wants to go to these little paid toys. And yet, I put her on and put the money in and she hates it moving. She just likes to stand near them and look at them. Don't you? Chase is on the case. Trying to see what's through here. Hello. Look, they've got like a disco area. How fun is that? What's in this room? You okay? She's in. Wow, this is a pretty room. Oh gosh. This is a pretty room. I love these tiles, look. They squidgy about and light up. <laughs> these are so fun, aren't they? Look, oh, that is satisfying. Oh my god. It's like AM, is it AMR that's the voicing, but like visual? So we're in the big area now. I do need to go home soon, but Pearl, every time I'm like, should we get your shoes on? She's like, no thanks. Um, so we're in the big area. That's my view. She moves so quickly. I think she's angling at going on the really big slide, which you can see here, this one. We're gonna find our way to the top. I'm so unfit. I'm embarrassingly unfit. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Right, oh, there's the balls. It's like the ball zone down there where they can shoot balls at each other. And then I think it's this one. Let's go up these rainbow stairs. And look, they've got their party area over here. Shall I show you it quickly? <sighs> Football match area there, look. So they've got loads of different party zones, but this one is dinosaurs and then this one my girls would like this one a lot oh I thought it was going to be more mermaidy it's pirates but there's a bit of mermaidiness and then in that room they've got like a twinkly forest one as well right huh. cash cash it's very nice waiting pearly oh you're looking down there right should we go up here then I'm wearing jeans so I don't know how well we'll fare with this okay ready Woo! Mummy to get up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me put my hand on the floor. There we go. I can get up. Okay. Whew. We're home now. We're going to get a little snack and a little drink. There we go. Oh, let's help this one. And then at 11, Chloe's going to come and do my nails. You want your coat off? Yep. There we go. That one and that one. Ta da! Do you want one of these? 
Jordan. Oh, that's a yes then. Okay, I need two hands. Say thank you. Can you say thank you? The gratitude I get from my children is just breathtaking. Chloe's here to do my nails. Say hello, Chloe. Hi. There she is. And I just went to get Pearl dummy out of her bag because she was asking for it. And I thought, oh, that feels a bit moist. The entire drink leaked in it. So I don't know. Oh, I see the problem. Didn't screw that bad boy on properly. So now literally everything that was in there is completely like dripping wet. Fabulous. Fabulous. Got my foils on. I'm Louise foil hands. What are our choices for today? Light pink. Yeah, that's, that's nice. You like that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. What else have we got going on? There she is. There she is. is. What's this one? A light nude. I don't know if you oh, like it, but I think it's a little bit grey. Yeah, it's, it's like an ashy colour. Grey. Do you remember when grey was all the rage? <laughs> grey was all the rage. Oh, that's a potential. You said light nude. Yeah. Yeah. Then. Oh, yeah. Mint. Mint. Obviously. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then you said turquoise, which you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your, what's your definition of turquoise? Well, let's see if this is it. <laughs> I would say that is a tur I'd say that's a teal. That's yeah, a well, teal. see, I thought teal was more darker, but they're your options today anyway. Okay. Oh, God. Well, in the next frame, you'll see what I chose. The suspense is unreal. Ta-da. I went for this minty green with gold glitter i feel like it's very princess jasmine -y. i like it a lot and now i am just doing a little picky lunch for pearly girl so while she has her little picky lunch i'm going to update my stories from this morning what i tend to do is take the stories and just save them and then when i come home and i've got a bit of time then i do it all nicely and add on all the tags and all the bippets and boppets so that's what we're going to do now Right, it's just gone 12, it's 12.18. I've got all my filey bits out there because I need to make a load of calls about the rental house that I'm doing up. I really, oh, that TV's so loud, sorry, one second. I wanted to have that done and dusted, kippers and custard by the end of Jan, but I don't think it's gonna be ready by the end of Jan. I think we're looking more like early to mid Feb, which is okay, that's okay. Um, but today I need to speak to the kitchen fitters because I need them to allow some time in between ripping the old kitchen out and putting the new one in um, because Daniel needs to rewire in the kitchen and he couldn't rip it out himself because it's like really really like stuck on tiles and he needs to get access to the walls and all that kind of stuff so um, I just need to arrange that and then I need to arrange the decorators to come back in because it's all been stripped now I'm going to do a full update on it soon I'm going to go there tomorrow I think and just do a little house tour of what it looks like now it looks very different um they've stripped everything and taken all the um stuff off the ceilings because there was like polystyrene stuff on the ceilings um but it needs decorating but they couldn't decorate it because daniel was ripping it up doing the rewire which like rips into the walls and rips up the floorboards and stuff so he's done that now so now the decorator needs to go back in and fit it uh fix it <clears throat> but it's cut i kind of don't want him to do some of the decorating because whilst the kitchen's being fitted that's going to create an awful lot of mess and an awful lot of dust so it's a weird juggling act in the logistics of it and speaking to different people what i really want to do is give them all each other's numbers and be like there have at it uh but that's not how it works so you just have to kind of manage the situation and i think once i've made those calls now i'll feel a lot calmer because at the moment i feel um, I've said all along I feel I find this process daunting and overwhelming I'm going to be so proud when it's done um which sounds so ridiculous because I'm not the one having to go in there and do elbow grease and like rip things up and it's these um brilliant people that have got doing it for me but just arranging it all is just something I've never done before so it's a challenge and I am grateful to be doing it and I'm excited to see how it goes so let's make these calls now and then that's that done and I can tick that off my to-do list for the day gonna do my phone voice now do you have a phone voice do you feel a bit panicked when the phone's ringing because i could answer any minute need to get alive suggested next week but didn't give a day because obviously wasn't sure what the other jobs would be like so it's starting at some point next week we're going to have a little night aren't we can you say night? 
say night night everybody. Yeah. Night night. Ready? Oh, lay down. Night night my gorgeous. I've come into my bedroom to get my laptop and look who I've found. Nine glitter points if you can name each one. Got this one and this one. I'll tell you. Oh, this one is Orbit. He's very silky. He's our naughtiest boy. He's our naughtiest boy. And then this one is my big beefy boy. This is Rocky. Did you know that the cats have an Instagram account? It's a um, political satire feline account. It's very niche. <laughs> I'll link it below, but I understand if you don't want to follow that kind of thing. It's a bit weird. Yes, my precious boys. I love you. Mmm. Okie dokie, Pearl settled down for a nap and I'm going to have some time in the soft office and I'm going to edit a video that I filmed yesterday. So I can't film myself doing that because I need to use the memory card that's in here. So, there. Oh, hello. Welcome, come one, come all. Welcome to the new segment. I know how much you love the laundry segment, so now it's a new segment. Ooh, that was a bit too tight. Uh, it is a new segment, it's a kitchen segment, it's the cooking segment, it's the cooking segment, cooking food that my children won't eat. Yeah, uh, I will work on the jingle. Um, basically, as I said last week, I'm just trying to cook a bit more. I'm feeling a lot more confident about it, but now that I'm actually putting it on camera and putting it out to, you know, like tens of thousands of people, feel slightly less confident because I think you're all gonna be like, wow, you are beyond basic. Like, if basic cooking, if like chef cooking is here, so this is just a regular restaurant, and then you've got like super chef cooking, and then you've got like good home cooking, then you've got basic cooking, and then you've got like people when they're just like first entered a kitchen, <laughs> And there's me, that, that's where I am on the cooking levels. But I've got some new pans, got some new spoons, um, and I've got a bit of an idea of something that I'm gonna make. Um, do excuse the state of my kitchen with the mess and the mess and the rather large box of wine. I just want it to be normal how it always is. And who's got time to like sort everything out and all that caper? Not me. So I'm gonna tell you my idea. So basically last week I went to Auntie Judith's house and she was like, shall I make you some pasta? And she's a feeder, like every time we go around she wants to feed you and I am um, okay with this. I was like, yes, I'd like some pasta. And you might all think that you might all be like, yes, Louise, everyone knew this, but did you know that you can just mix, wait for it, wait for it, bear with, bear with, you can just mix these um, Philadelphia like creamy cheesy things in. She just boiled some pasta, I think she did some mushroomy stuff as well, and then just like stirred this in like a nice creamy coating. I didn't know you could do that, so I was like, wow, what is this like magic? Like what is this witchcraft that you're doing? This is incredible. Um, so I'm going to do that today, so I've got some brown pasta. Uh, we got brown pasta because for one entire day Liam was like we can only eat brown pasta and wholemeal bread and we'll we'll never never eat anything bad again but we <laughs> it's like a week into the new year and we're back to normal but we've, we've got this in the cupboard so we're gonna have this um, and I'm gonna mix in some Philadelphia but don't worry I'm gonna like spice things up a bit because I'm also gonna add some sweet corn to this and have you ever seen peppers so large in all your life? Look at the size, like this is my face. Look at the size of that pepper. That's absolutely enormous. So what I thought I would do is rub, oh no, that's a bit soft there. Is it bad? Feels all right if I ask, I'll just chop around that bit, shall I? I don't know why I'm asking you because you're not responding to me. I think I'll just chop around it, it'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna roast the peppers, and then I'm gonna chop it, roast it, and then I'm going to just saute some onions, is that what we call it? I mean, I would call it fry. What's the difference between fry and saute? We're learning together, but what I'm gonna do is when I fry it, I'm gonna do that a bit with it, like you see them do, like, like that, with my saucepan. Uh, I'm gonna boil the pasta, and then get that out the oven all roasted, and mix in the sauteed onions, and then put it all in a big, this, 
um, casserole um, pot, dish, pan, this. Uh, and then my children are going to be like, wow, mommy, this is incredible. So that's, that's a plan of action. Um, I'm cooking it now at two o'clock. Have to do the school run at three and then Darcy's got a swimming lesson. So we'll be back at five and she'll be really hungry and I'll be shattered by them. So I thought I'll cook it now while Pearl's napping. So without further ado, let's, oh, oh, I just want to show you my knives actually. Hang on a second. Look at these. So these were a PR gift. The P, I don't know why I said it like that, a PR gift, a PR gift. The company got in touch with me, um, they emailed and just said, would you like us to send these out? And normally I say a polite decline to things because if I don't need it, then I don't want to say yes to it. But these are from a company called Viners. And I remembered these because when I was 20, my grandma bought me a set of knives and forks from Viners. And she was like, these are for your bottom drawer. If anyone else's mum or grandma ever say that to them, your bottom drawer. Um, There'll be some people asking what that is. I'll reply to you in the comments if you're not sure what a bottom drawer is, or someone else will. Um, but it's knives, and these are like rose gold. These are very nice. Nice. Shall I use that one? I don't, I don't even know which knife is for what, but that looks like a good, a good size. So I'll put my put my knives back and get get cracker macking. Right. I've given them a little wash. Let's take their lids off. Oh, did the knife the wrong way around? God, not usually that bad. Goodness me. They're all different sizes. If this is upsetting anybody, I'm so sorry. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that I cut these and got the white bits off much better and these look a lot more uniform. Oh, Steve the decorator's calling. Hello Steve, how are you? Happy New Year to you as well. Yeah, did you have a good one? Can I just interrupt our cooking video to tell you that Steve the decorator just the nicest man ever if you're in Northampton and you need a good decorator Steve's your man he's just so nice he was like all right then love bye love I was like thanks Steve uh, right so I put the peppers in and now I'm going to saute my onions putting my favorite hob ring on this one here this is my first time using my oh yeah there she is. Oh, that's not a very good shot, is it? Oh, got some hot water in here. Oh, that just feels like it's too much. Let's turn it down. That was quite a moment. Taking my peppers out for a little stir. They were getting a bit like burnt around the edges. I think it's because I didn't put enough oil on, I'm not really sure. Uh, but they look okay. I'm gonna put those back in to like make them really like, you know, soft and like squelchy. Is that the right word? Here we are. That's starting to bubble. Okay, it's some time later and look who's arrived. The inspiration herself, the goddess that is Auntie Judith, or as Pearl calls you, Auntie Juju. Juju. So this is your recipe that I've copied, except not really, except you do it with mushrooms, don't you? Mushrooms or anything, and vegetables. Judith is like the world's best cook. I didn't get the cooking genes, did I, from mum's side? You're getting them. <laughs> You're getting them. <laughs> Careful, this is really hot. This is really hot. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna mix it all together. So just mix everything in, and jobs are good in, yeah? How much of this would you do, all of it? Um, what a probably shiny. about half. To start with, you can always add more. But you can't take away, can you? No. Oh, we've got, oh, shot the whole one. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Only mummy. Are you gonna help me, Pearly? Yeah. Are you gonna help me? You have oh. with the cooking. Thank you, push it in. Push it in. That one's nice. You do this one. You put that in, tap it on. Cooking G. <laughs> she doesn't take after her mother. Maybe you got it from Auntie Juju. Well, don't even stir it in like this. 
can you do some stirring? Oh, yeah, it's good stirring. Oh, Karen. it's so cute. Good girl. Oh, Let me oh, delicious dinner. That's sweet right. corn. Should we add this one in then? Are you going to help me? Can you use a spoon? That's nice. Oh, that's good mix. Well up, done. Girl. Does that look so nice? I will certainly enjoy this after swimming. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's looking nice, oh, isn't turn. it? You, you want to turn? turn? Good girl, you've got to turn. Is that nice? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, I'll have to taste test that. But Do you want to try some of this? No, I'm not good. Are you going to eat any of it? Let me have you dinner, oh, Sheila. Oh, alright then. Just putting my tripod away. Say it again, Ruth. That was like the sweetest thing I've ever heard in my whole life. This just broke my dream. I used to dream that I was in a studio doing a cooking cooking program. And then and then you said, and now I'm here on camera. Oh, Oh, John, I love you so much. <laughs> if there's any producers out there that would like to do a cooking show with Judith being the expert and me being her novice and we could even get Pearly in as our sous chef, hook us up because that would be Judith's dream to be a TV chef. We'll make it happen. Just got everyone in the car and strapped in and realised I had forgotten Pearl's little blanket that she likes and she gets really tired this time of day, so... Oh god, I have to go back in and get it. Got it. Um, we're going to go and do the school run now and then go straight to the swimming lesson. Don't know how much footage I'll get from either of those things, but I'll do my best. We're here for the swimming lesson. Doodles, are you excited? <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> are you excited, Pearly, for a play? Are you excited, Judith? I'm very excited. Yeah, Judith, thank you. Let's go in. Come on. Let's catch up with Sissy. Catch. Catch up, catch up. Pearl's been in the cafe with Judith and she's on her second bit of soft play of the day. Are you going to go down the slide? Here we go. Here we go. Darcy's coming. Slide down. She's coming. She's right here. Woo! Where's Daddy gone? He's just here. Liam's arrived. <laughs> it's Daddy. <laughs> We're home and the food smells amazing. I am so glad that I made that earlier. By the way, we've still got our Christmas decorations up. Um, the company that does the Christmas decorations for us can't take them down until the 9th, so that's why we still have them up. So I'm not just like really into Christmas. So something happened at Darcy's swimming lesson that I didn't want to talk about whilst we were at the pool. <clears throat> and I didn't want to talk about downstairs. I just dished up some food, ate some food. I was going to film them like enjoying the pasta and everything, but I just didn't because I've been so like shaken up is the is the right term for it. I feel so shaken up. My heart is still going so fast. You know when you're on a roller coaster and you're going up, you're going up and you're at the top and you're like, Ooh, that's how I feel, but I'm obviously not on a roller coaster. And I wasn't sure if I would say anything on here because I felt worried about what your reaction might be, but I've just put it on Insta stories and um because I felt like I could explain it better because I could type it all out. Um and I have never had such an overwhelming positive reaction on Instagram ever. Like, if I showed you my DMs at the moment, I, I get like a reasonable amount of DMs a day. Oh, God, I feel so shaky, but it's just, hang on a second, it's, it's frozen now, but just so many DMs just goes on and on and on and on and on. This is all in the last 12 minutes. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So what happened was, Oh, we were walking into the pool and I introduced Darcy to her teacher, a very nice lady, and she said, we're going to be at the far end of the pool, so go and take a seat over there, they've got some seating, and then I'll call Darcy over when it's time to start the lesson. And we're like, yeah, okay. And as I'm walking over, there was a man and um, a young boy. The boy looked younger than Darcy. And the man was leaning over him and pointing in his face and having a go at him. Now I understand we all have a go at our children. God, I'm I'm guilty of being a shouty mum and having a go at my children. But it was the it was the leaning over and the pointing, pointing, pointing. Having been in a situation where I've been <laughs> I I was abused as a child, physically and emotionally, 
and having someone do that to you when they're much bigger than you put yourself in a child's position where that person is huge and they're your world and they're so big and they're pointing and pointing that's like I wouldn't like that as an adult if someone was like like this in my face so I walked over and I was looking at him because he was sat where I needed to sit and he saw me looking and I thought oh, I'm just gonna have to say something and I said just like this I said that was a little bit intimidating maybe I didn't say that was really intimate I was just like it was almost apologetic for saying something and he flew off the hand he's like it's none of your business do you need to say something and I, and I understand like if somebody if, if someone caught me at my worst parenting moment and they, I think I would be like, son of your business, thank you very much, because I'd be so like, ah, ah, and I would hate it. So I understood, and then I said, excuse me, can I sit there, is that your stuff? It wasn't, so I just moved it over, and I said, I'm sorry, I hope you don't think that I'm, um, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry, I know it's none of my business, it's just if I see that kind of thing, I really do have to say something, and he was like, do you? Do you have to say something? And he was stood over me at this point, and I was like, if you're doing it in public, then yes. I do um and then he just got quite irate and said some he said is there a separate end I said maybe it's just something to consider and thought god just I just want to stop this and he said is there a separate engine for that mouth of yours and and then and then left the area and went somewhere else and I was like god and I just mulled on it the whole time the whole time that Darcy was in her club because his son was in Darcy's club he was in a different area of the pool and I felt like I didn't I felt like he was watching me and Darcy said she felt really intimidated by him as well and I heard him saying, well I think I did but I don't know if I'm being paranoid, maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't care, I don't know, um, to the woman that was running the club, um, but like oh she's, I, I thought he was re like recounting the situation, or, or, but I don't know and <sighs> I don't know if I did the right thing because one part of me feels like who am I to judge another parent because I'm not a perfect parent at all so you know maybe he was just having a really bad day a really hard day and maybe that child had like really pushed him to his limits and that actually he's like the most patient loving dad in the whole world and I just caught him at that one moment and assumed the worst and I shouldn't have assumed the worst and that maybe that didn't that was not helpful of me to say that at all so I feel terrible on that side but on the other side I think maybe he went away and thought about that and you know maybe he he won't behave that way and a, a part of me thought if you're happy to behave like that in public to your child what do you do behind closed doors and I've been there I've been the child that um you know was treated like that in public and was treated a lot worse <laughs> a lot worse behind closed doors and so that leads me to think or well, maybe it's just this is a this is a Louise problem like this happened to me as a child and now I'm projecting it onto somebody else's child it's none of my business what am I doing um but I also thought gosh, I've just been going backwards and forwards you know and like you just exhaust yourself I also thought gosh if he's like he intimidated me and I'm a grown woman I've spoken to a few people I've spoken to Liam and I've spoken to Aunt Judith because she was there in the cafe with, Dar with Pearl and she said you wouldn't you if you'd have gone and you'd not said anything, it would have eaten you up that you hadn't said anything for that child. And Liam pointed out, if he's happy to intimidate a grown woman, then, you know, he must have been really intimidating that child. Oh God, I don't know, I don't know. God, I wish I was on that show, What Would You Do? Do you ever watch that on YouTube? What Would You Do? It's so, it's so addictive. I mean, don't, don't YouTube search that if you're in a rush for anything. They have loads of clips where they have actors and they put them um put real people in really awkward like difficult positions like things like that and then see how people react i wish it was that show and then the host is going to come out and be like jokes everyone's okay that man's not angry with you and that child's okay hey but i don't think that's gonna happen <laughs> oh god uh, going downstairs now okay gang results on dinner out of 10, what did you think? Uh, delicious. Yeah? yeah? Out of 10, it was delicious, yeah? yeah. Darcy? Uh, I would say 10 out of 10. I'm really joking. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Because I had yogurt. What did you actually think, babe? For my cooking levels. It was nice. I needed something else in it, though. What, flavour? Yeah. <laughs> No, no, it had flavour. <laughs> you can see his face. For my cooking. It was really good. Yeah, for my standards. I thought you burnt the peppers just to the right level. They, they were char-grilled. 
<laughs> they were roasted. Is that the same as being char grilled? Uh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> peace. Oh yes, peace. <laughs> I need some peace. I've got a washing up helper here. It's mummy's new pan. Are you gonna help me? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Rightio, it is half past seven. I have popped next door to see my next door neighbour. She has some post delivered here and I had such lovely cuddles with her dog. She's got the best dog ever. And I sat here with my gorgeous little girly. Say hello. I just rubbing this on my lips. Okay, that's uh, right. it's your little lovey, isn't it? Yes. I've got one as well. It's my little lovey. It's a doggy. Is it? It's like a doggy, but it's a blanket that you love. And we've got this lovey too. Oh, we've got so many loveys. Oh, hello. Hello, oh. gorgeous. And we're going to watch some YouTube vlogs, aren't we? Yes, the cat is saying, you yeah, so I'm very enjoying this now. So I'm just going to oh. snuffle you. It's the game now. I'm going to snuffle you. He's a little snuffler. Oh, baby. <laughs> What's up there? Ooh, some dragon. Oh. Ooh. Right, we're going to watch a video now, aren't we? <laughs> so Doodles and I went to Lush the other day and treated ourselves to a few bits. And this, oh, by the way, absolutely, lo ah, ah, ah. absolutely loving Mrs. Hinch's activity journal. Yes, I do do it in the bath and on the loo. Don't judge me. We all we all like to do these things in here. Um, but yeah, it is. It says packed with over 100 fun activities to help you relax and plan your hinching. If they do relax me, <clears throat> very soothing. So would thoroughly recommend that. And she's written a lovely message in the front. To Louise, thank you for supporting me on this crazy journey. Lots of love, Hinchy. <clears throat> so there we go. There's that. Um, I am going to use one of these. These are my absolute favourite at the moment. They're bubble bars on a stick. And I much prefer them on a stick because then... It's not focusing. Why won't you focus? Um, <clears throat> you get the gist. Because then when you run your hand under the water, you don't like get a really hot, wet hand. So bubble bars on a stick are great. <laughs> Darth is shouting the night at me. Night night, love you lots. I do have some other things in here, but I'll show you these another day. Oh, and we've got a thing about going vegan as well. See? Nice dry hand. Yes. Yes. She's making some bubbles. Tommy bubbles, everybody does. I'm just waiting for the bath to run. Um, and also, I'm looking for a foot file. My feet are really dry. <laughs> it's yummy, isn't it? Um, I've read through so many of your DMs. There have been hundreds. I haven't managed to read through all of them, but I will read through all of them. And the overwhelming responses, I did the right thing. And now that I've had some time to calm down and my heart isn't doing that like racy thing, I feel confident that I did do the right thing because I figure if I did the wrong thing and that was a really nice man and I misjudged him, then he'll understand that I did the wrong thing with the best intentions. I, I, I acted based on what I could see at the time. Um, and I've had so many messages, lots from teachers, therapists, social workers, police workers, mums, and also abuse victims. And they've all said the same thing. And I've written down some of the points because I just wanted to be like concise and not waffle on. Um, but so many people have said safeguarding is everybody's business. Um, a lot of people said, if you're wrong, no harm done to the boy. But if you're right, maybe the man will think twice. Um, a lot of people have pointed out that I've shown Darcy that although it's scary, it's important to stand up to bullies. So I hadn't thought of that and that's made me feel really nice or, well, better. Um, and also, most importantly, I've shown that boy that people care and just seeing, I don't know, I don't know, I wish that, I wish that I had had that. Uh, and, and a lot of people who have had similar childhood experiences to me have also messaged and said they had wished that someone had said something so if I'm wrong I'm just so sorry to that man I feel terrible um but if I'm right I'm glad I did it and you know it was scary and he was unpleasant about it but I get it I think that you know lots of us would sort of be on the defensive as well if someone said that to you so there we are I've done it now 
I'm going to rest easy with peace in my heart knowing that I did what I thought was best with the information and the situation presented to me and if I'm honest I think if I saw that happen again I would say something again because often the child can't say something for themselves and I, I just wouldn't feel right as a mum just as a human as a decent person ha having just watched that and walked past and saying nothing and letting that boy think that it's it's okay right <laughs> with that being said I think I'm actually going to end the vlog because I'm in a bit of like a tizzy and I'm just going to have a bath and take my makeup off and fall my feet and mm, yummy um but it's been a really really lovely day up until that point I didn't want the whole vlog to be overshadowed by this hopefully you enjoyed the cooking portion and uh, see what I did there punny cooking portion uh, um we didn't have the laundry segment but i did empty did i empty the dishwasher i did empty the dishwasher this morning so maybe that maybe that went some way but yeah i'm i'm looking forward to the next weekly vlog but until then there will be my midweek chatty on wednesday so don't forget to tune into that there's also the podcast that has gone up today it goes up every single sunday and also mother's meeting um no that's the podcast mother's meeting is a podcast on a sunday and the big question is the video series i have going up on a thursday on facebook answering your juicy questions great alrighty I will see you very soon thanks for watching love you lots bye